We're ready to begin our plumbing design by copying the plumbing sanitary fixtures from the architectural model into a Revit MEP project. We'll start by setting up Revit MEP model by copying in the shared levels and grids from the architectural model. Open the Link Revit tool that appears in the Insert tab to link in a Revit model file. Be sure to choose the Origin to Origin Position option to make sure our project coordinates align with the linked model. The linked model appears and we can pin it down to ensure it doesn't accidentally get moved. Next we'll copy the shared levels and grids into our host project to help us get started. Use the copy monitor tool in the collaborate tab and select the linked model. Then we'll click the copy tool and turn on the multiple option to copy in several items at once. Use a drag selection to copy all the available elements and we'll filter out the selection to include only grids and levels. Click OK to close the filter dialog and click Finish in the Options bar to complete our selection in this view. We'll skip this step here, but remember we would still need to do the same in the south elevation view in order to copy the grids running in the north-south direction. Let's create some working views to assist with our plumbing design tasks. First, let's create some floor plan views for each of the levels in the project. This automatically opens these views in new windows, which we can easily close by choosing Close Hidden. Now let's create some reflected ceiling plan views in a similar way, and also choose Close Hidden to close those windows that automatically opened. If we look in the project browser, we see the new floor plans appear under the Mechanical HVAC Floor Plan section, but we'll move them to a better place. Select the floor plan views in the list, then in the Properties palette, Change the subdiscipline for these views to Plumbing. Let's do the same for the ceiling plans, which haven't been assigned yet to a subdiscipline. Change the subdiscipline to Plumbing. And we'll see that all these views have been moved to the Mechanical Plumbing section in the browser outline. As our next step, we'll copy in the plumbing fixtures from the architectural model into our Revit MEP host project. Let's begin by zooming into the restroom region of the Level 1 floor plan. We'll use the Copy Monitor tool again and select the linked model. Then, we'll use the Coordination Settings tool to specify how we'd like the plumbing fixtures copied. For the copy behavior, we can choose to copy them individually or as a batch. We'll choose Copy Individually. Then for the mapping behavior, we'll choose to copy the original fixture types rather than mapping them into different types in our MEP model. Click Save and Close. Now use the Copy tool and select each of the fixtures to be copied. As you select each fixture, a small heartbeat symbol appears above it to indicate that this fixture has been copied and any changes to it will be monitored. You can also use a drag selection to copy many of the fixtures all at once. Then let's finish our selection and click the Finish checkmark to complete our copying. Let's confirm that the copied shared fixtures came into our MEP project by returning to the 3D view and turning off the linked model in Visibility Graphics. We can click on the Home view to zoom in to the newly copied plumbing fixtures. Let's examine how we could batch copy to bring in copies of all the plumbing fixtures all at once. We'll use the Copy Monitor tool again and select the linked model. Then within the Coordination Settings, we specify how we'd like the plumbing fixtures copied. For the copy behavior, we'll choose Allow Batch Copy. And for the mapping behavior, we'll again choose to copy the original fixture types. Click Copy, then finally click the Finish checkmark. Returning to the 3D view, we can confirm that the copied shared fixtures were batch copied into our MEP project. There we see all the fixtures from the four levels of the building.